We are together with the servant of God who is going to preach to us in this morning. He is called Wyatt Fab. Wyatt Fab. Wyatt Fab. He is my twin. Ise, the father. Ise niwe waba muri Africa haguruka ya kabiri. The father is the first. He attended the second Africa Arise conference. Yes, the second. Ubugambere. And the first time. Yita biri wenu muga witwa ga Dr. Budget Batarse. There, there we had a, a, a preacher called Dr. Budget. Batarse. Batars. Ubari muri Ohio, Colombia. Ari kono muri Jordania. Now he's from Ohio, Colombia, but he's from Jordania originally. Na habga rumu na arabo kufu. Na nuwa mu muri yango kwa Amoni. Amoni ba kwa. He is not an Arab, but he is from the family of Ammon in the family of Lot. Africa The second Africa arise. There came a very big delegation from South Africa. And the other was coming from the US and Canada. For those in the Canada were natives in the in Canada. They also came with Alpha Feb. Alpha Feb passed away. He was a very great apostle. So I went in his homeland in 2003 to preach. So today, we have a blessing. We are together with his son. Papa we, the father, he was a very great apostle in Africa as well as in the whole world. So he left him with a ministry. I don't know how I can explain to you how he The way my father was to me, so he was to his son. So today, we give thanks to God because He is with us. They have come to, to celebrate with us. There is a delegation from South Africa. They've come to celebrate the silver jubilee of Na Africa. Rise. And also again, we are going to be able to celebrate the silver jubilee on Saturday as well we shall be celebrating the many years they've had coming here in Rwanda and he's going to elaborate more about that I don't know if you have I don't know if it's possible that he can give us those pictures of that time this was in 2004 this is Pastor Joel these are the pictures from Africa South Africa sorry. that's me when I was still very with a heavy weight don't see heavy weight I was a giant not a heavy weight sorry <laughs> In faith and in the body. In faith and also in the body. This was Joel interpreting. Another photo. This is the father of Alpha Feb. Joel was interpreting as well. And this is another delegation had come with them. We were in Remera, you remember? I'm a photo pictures, photos are always God is a God of the ancient times. God as he used to know our grandfathers. So you should be helping us the years. The God who was with you in the old years, he going to be with us in the years to come. This is our faith. This one of our believers. Okay, another picture. Another. Hari hindi. Tazindi. Tabizi zirari. Aha. Oyu ninje wendi wendi yibutsa. I remember myself. This is me. Hari ya ni alfi feb. And beside it is alfa feb. Oyu ni this is David from Canada, Edmonton, I think. David from Canada. This is David also from Canada next to me. 
Uyabari Eric Munyemana, maybe Eric, even you can as a sense in your mana. Eh? New when Eric Munyeman, you go, Eric Munyemana, who you see me book. I don't remember this one. Orian in the Herman, is this Herman or from Canada to okay? Yes. Ah. Uriari president of World Vision. He was the president of World Vision in Winnipeg, Canada. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 Canada. This is one of the native, of, uh, native of uh, Canada. Was the world of Vision in Canada. He was also Mibugabo. the president of World, uh, world Vision Na in Canada. And also this uh, also came from Canada. That was 2002. It was really fire. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get on with it. Ndagirango nakire Wyatt Feb. I would like to receive Wyatt Feb. Do I go to get our Jiman? Let's all stand up, Church of God. Welcome. You're most welcome. Nagiye kubwiriza wa muri 2023 banyakira neza cyane Cape Town niwe wabo. Baranze ngurutsa banjyana mu nyanja aho Osea Atlantique na Osea Indie bihurira. Ah heza cyane heza cyane. Ay 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 God bless you so much. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Mushobora kwicarira. Your dad got me in tears there when he said about, you know, this really gets to you because what I want to share this morning is about a godly heritage. That was in 2002 where God used your spiritual dad. Those meetings was the reconciliation meetings. And I believe since that time, God has used your father and many others to usher in revival after the wars previous. Today, Zion Temple, Zion Temple, the the Church of Zion, the family of Zion, as a rich. Legacy that God is still going to take further. Zion Temple, Zion Temple, God is going to use you, the family of Zion, as forerunners. What happened then? The best is yet to come. I believe that. Amen. Amen. I believe the time is going to be short. And I'm going to respect that. I think by now you already know who I am and where I come from. I'm born on this continent. I'm from the, the southernmost spot. South Africa. You know, there is maybe the, in the southernmost part we come out light. When but I was born on this continent. I'm African in spirit. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles with you, can you turn with me to 2 Timothy chapter 1? This is, some, this is a word that I believe is for your spiritual father and also for the family of God at Zion Temple. All Zion Temple parishes I believe are benefiting from the life of one man that God has used and today has spread all over the world. 
It is because of Apostle Gitwaza, my brother in Christ, that I'm standing here today, 20 years of serving the Lord Jesus Christ in Rwanda under his leadership. I'm happy. I'm honored to be connected to my brother. And I'm saying this publicly. Rwanda needs to know that I'm submitting to my brother, Apostle Paul Gitwaza, which I love very much and was introduced by my late father, Alfred Gerald Fame. Thank you, Apostle Paul. Bless you. I love you. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse, you can read from verse 1 to 5. Paulo wagizwe intumwa ya Kristo Yesu nkuko Imana yabishatse kandi nkuko isezerano ry'ubugingo bubonerwa muri Kristo Yesu riri ndakwandikiye Timoteyo umwana wanje nkunda ubuntu n'imbabazi n'amahoro bibe kuri wowe biva ku Mana data wa twese no kuri Kristo Yesu umwami wacu Imana nkorera nkurikije basu go kuruza mfite umutima utancira urubanza niyo nshimere yuko nkwibuka ubudasiba uko nsenze kumanywa na ninjoro Nibuka marira yawe ngakumbura kukureba ngo nuzuru munezero kuko nibutse kwizera kutaryarya kukurimo kwabanje kwa muri nyogo kuru Lois no muri nyoko unike kandi nzi neza yuko kukurimo nawe amen amen Paul is writing Paul arimarandika a personal letter arimarandika urwandiko rwe to his spiritual son yandikira umwana we mu mwuka which is Timothy ariwe Timothy and he writes and he encourages Timothy. He introduces himself. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, called by the will of God, according to the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus. He writes and he says to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Paul is writing a personal letter to encourage Timothy. Paul was in prison in Rome. And Paul was at the end of his life. And he's encouraging Timothy to continue with the work of the Lord. Timothy was faced with many false teachers. And as a, and as a young man, he was also faced with believers where Paul would say, do not let anyone look down on your youth. Timothy was a young preacher and he needed a father that could speak into his life. Paul would tell him that God didn't give you a spirit of fear but love and of a sound mind. You see, Timothy was going through a lot of things. His dad was about to be executed and Timothy felt alone. But the Apostle Paul encouraged him from prison and, and told him that you um, fan into flame the gifts uh, that I laid hands on you. Timothy, you cannot give up now. The work of the Lord Jesus Christ needs to be continued. And so the Apostle Paul encouraged the son. And I know today that you have a father in this house. Whether he's present, whether he's in the USA, he encourages you to continue in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
you need a father in your life many times as a believer it is not easy to serve the Lord Jesus Christ we need to be encouraged all the time and Paul writes to him and he says in verse 3 I thank God whom I serve as my forefathers did with a clear conscience as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day as I remember you tears I long to see you that I may be filled with joy and I want to highlight verse 5. This is the foundation that I want to share with you about five advantages concerning a godly heritage. What is a godly heritage? A heritage is something you inherit. It is something, someone who, who preceded you passed on to you. A legacy is what you leave to or pass on to someone else. It is very close. So I want to speak about a godly heritage. And I believe that I'm in the right house this morning. You have a rich legacy or a rich heritage that is being passed on to you. And you are so fortunate that you still have your dad with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is a godly heritage? We're talking about a godly heritage this morning. When someone or some men get a vision from God and when they get that vision from the Lord they hold on to the grace of God and because of that they raise up their children and the way that they raise their children the children will follow them and their children will follow them and others will follow after them it is something continuously verse 5 he writes here and encourages Timothy Timothy was faced with fear it is not easy to lead a church. You don't know what your father goes through. Do you understand the persecution? When people don't understand you, you're building the work of God. You find men and women, they come, up, uh, they come alongside and they try to break you down. But here Paul writes to Timothy and he had to remind Timothy, I'm reminded of your sincere faith. A faith that first dwelt in your grandmother Lewis and in your mother Eunice and I'm now sure the same faith that was in your grandmother Lord, the same faith that was in your mother Eunice Timothy that faith I see that faith in you you see God is a generational God he was the God of his grandmother he's the same God of his mother and he's the same God of Timothy I can imagine the apostle Paul. He says, Timothy, do not fear. I am encouraging you today that the faith that was in your grandmother, Timothy, you weren't even born yet. I knew your grandmother. I walked with your grandmother. And then your mother Eunice came along. 
ignore us. Your grandmother Louis walked with your mother Eunice to church. Sunday after Sunday walking with your mother Eunice and the faith that was in your grandmother it was passed to your mother. Your grandmother served Jesus. Your mother served Jesus. And then one day your mother brought you into the service. You come from a rich legacy. So I remind you today, Timothy, that the faith that was in your mother, grandmother, that same faith in your mother, Lord, that faith, Timothy, I see it's in you. I want to encourage you today. The faith that you see on your father. Imitate that faith. It might not be here most of the time. But it is that faith. That is going to spur you on. To serve Jesus. Effectively. In your generation. Timothy. Timothy. I want to remind you, do not give up, because that faith, I'm reminded today, I walked with your grandmother, I walked with your mother, your father was not a believer, he was a Greek man, he was of a Greek, but your mother and your grandmother encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. And I had to come along and to be your spiritual father so that you can become a great leader. Even though I'm going to be with the Lord, I'm reminding you today to continue this legacy that we all are serving Jesus Christ in our, in our generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to speak about five advantages concerning a godly heritage. The first one. Legacies are built through sonship. A legacy Umuraje. is built through sonship. And that's why he says, I'm reminded of your faith. Which first lived in your grandmother Louis. And in your mother Eunice. And I'm persuaded now lives in you also. The first, a godly heritage or legacy, it needs to be prayed through. In verse 3, Paul writes and he says, I thank God whom I serve as my ancestors did with a clear conscience as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers a legacy or a heritage it needs to be prayed through continuously Zion Temple Zion Temple when it started many years ago, it was built through prayer. It is built through prayer. And today the evidence shows that the heritage of this house has branched out even into other nations. I want to encourage you this morning. Keep on praying. Keep on praying that this heritage will last until the Lord Jesus comes. This is a rich legacy. A rich heritage that God has given you. Keep on praying it through. And thanking God for others. Secondly, 
a godly heritage or legacy it needs to be passed on when we read in verse 5 and 6 where Paul writes here he says I'm reminded of your sincere faith a faith that first dwelled in your grandmother Louis and in your mother Eunice and now I'm sure dwells in you as well. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God which is in, which is in you through the laying on of hands. You see, example, Zion Temple is fathered through the Apostle Paul Gitwaza. Psalm 78 verse 2. You can read that. Yes, I can. From 2 to 7. Zabri Mirongi Nakabiri, where are Kumurongwa Kabiri? Azachira Aba Nubi Bawe Imanza Zitabera. Nabanya muwaba rubawe azaba chira imanza zukuri. Guchi imanza zitabera kuzatuma imiso zimire mire ni migufi izani rabana mahoro. Azachi imanza zirenje rabanya muwaba ro bomu baanu. Azachi zaba anawaba chene kanda zavu nagura umunyaga hato. Azachi imanza zirenje rabanya muwaba ro bomu baanu. Azachi zaba anawaba chene kandi azavunagura umunyaga hato bazakubaha ibihe byose izuba n'ukwezi bikiriho azemera azamera nk'imvura imanuka ikanyagira ibyatsi biciwe nk'ibitonyanga bitonyangira ubutaka mu minsi ye abakiranutsi bazashisha kandi hazabaho amahoro menshi kugeza ho kwezi kuzashirira amen one day when your spiritual father is not here, this heritage will continue. You will remember what was planted. And so we need to continue to tell others. Tell your children. Tell your, your grandchildren who Jesus is to you. But God uses fathers as our heavenly father has sent Jesus his son. It is a principle that we need to follow. Tell your children if the next generation don't know Jesus can you imagine what will happen? So we need to continue to preach Christ Jesus so that our children will know who he is. Our grandchildren will know who he is from generation to generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thirdly, a godly heritage or legacy need to be perfected in verse 9. You can read. Aravuga ngo aba ababa muba Ababa mu butayu bazamwunamira abanzi be bazarigata umukungu says here, he has saved us and called us to a holy life not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose and grace this grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. Yadukije aduhamagara guhamagarwa kwe kwe kwera itabitewe n'imirimo yacu ahubwo bitewe nuko yabigambiriye ubwayo 
no kubwo ubuntu bwayo twaherewe muri Kristo Yesu uherere kera kose you see we we not serving Jesus Christ ntago dukorera Yesu Kristo because what we have done kubera ibyo twakoze because he has saved us ahubwo kubera ko yadukijije and so our salvation we need to work on a daily dukeneye ugatunganya buri munsi we need to perfect our walk in the lord dukeneye gutunganya murimo wacu mu mwami you see we don't become perfect overnight ntabwo duhinduka intungana igitondo kimwe when the father in heaven looks down on us dato mu ijiya turebye he sees us perfect in christ jesus abona dutunganye muri kristo yesu but in practice ariko mu buryo bufatika we are not perfect ntabwo dutunganye but when he see us in christ ariko yatuboneye muri christ we are perfect twa dutunganye but we need to perfect our faith ariko dukeneye kujya no tunganya kwizera kwacu and this is a godly heritage uyu ni umurage w'umana we need to work on our salvation dukeneye gukora mu gakiza kacu every day buri munsi i only life ubuzima bwacu does not necessarily mean that we are sinless or that we have perfected sin holiness kwera is first and foremost it means to be dedicated to the lord set apart for his purposes God wants us to be motivated to faithfully honor and serve him that is what i'm talking about our godly heritage it needs to be perfected and fourthly a godly heritage or legacy need to be protected when we read in verse 14 iyo dusomye ku murongo wa 14 ikibitsanyo kiza wabikijwe ukirindisha umwuka wera utubamo amen amen paul writes and he says god or protect the good deposit ikibitsanyo that was entrusted to you washizwemo God it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in you what was the, what was the good deposit that needed to be guarded or protected do you know what that was it was the gospel we need to guard this gospel that we are preaching today Paul says that I preach Christ and him crucified. This gospel didn't come to us easily. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 8 that it is by grace that we've been saved through faith. You see what we have received was not by our own doing. So the good deposit that needs to be protected protect and guard this gospel with all your heart and the apostle Paul was encouraging Timothy guard it with all your heart the time is coming when I won't be with you and you have got to continue the work a godly heritage need to be protected amen amen and lastly a godly heritage or legacy need to be preserved or maintained what you heard from me keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 1.13 and then he goes on in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2 and Paul goes on to say and the things you have heard say in the presence of many witnesses and trust to reliable people will also be qualified to teach others. 
I want to tell you this morning. Family of Zion Temple. You have a rich heritage. And this heritage that God has given you through through the leadership of your father. A godly heritage. Need to be prayed through continuously. Continue to pray for this vision. A godly heritage. Need to be passed on. And I know that. And I know that the sons. There's many sons. That was released. Because a father don't hold on to things. He releases his son. And I've seen that. A godly heritage. Need to be perfected. We need to perfect this work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A godly heritage need to be protected. And lastly, a godly heritage it needs to be preserved. Meaning it must be maintained. And I believe that what God is doing through Africa, Aruka, it is a rich heritage that not just this house but many in the body of Christ in Rwanda and even to the rest of the world are tuning in and having expectations of what God has to say not just for this nation but to speak to the world and to keep the world updated what God is about to do when Paul was in Rome and I want to encourage you with this Timothy was living in fear and his father was about to be executed and he had to encourage Timothy all the time I can imagine Paul was encouraging him and then telling him don't give up. When Paul was in Rome, he encouraged the believers in Rome that I'm not ashamed of this gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. Timothy, don't give up. When I was in Philippi, I want to encourage you that you can do all things in Christ who gives you the strength. Church, don't give up. As Paul encourages us, you can do all things through Christ Jesus who gives you the strength. Yes, you might be at a time when you felt low, but as the Apostle Paul says and encourages the, the children of God in Philippi, he told the believers you can do all things through Christ. And then he encourages those in Galatians. And he told the believers do not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time you will reap a harvest. And I believe it's harvest time. When Paul was in Corinth he encourages the believers in the second letter and he says that ah, we don't walk by faith. Sorry, we walk by faith and not by sight. We, don't, we walk and we believe in faith we don't walk and do things by sight because it's not about us it's about Jesus who lives in us and then he encourages those in Ephesus and I believe that he, he encouraged Timothy as the word of God is encouraging us today when he was encouraging the church in Ephesus and he told the believers as the word of God is encouraging us today be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power 
Put on the full armor of God Because your fight and my fight It's not against flesh and blood But against forces of evil My brother My friend and apostle I want to encourage you Yes there was many challenges you went through persecution but, but by the spirit of God that time is over the heritage that God has built in this house and the legacy that you are leaving it wasn't easy when I said pray this legacy through this heritage also pray for your father pray that this heritage needs to be protected it needs to be preserved, maintained when you pray for your father the grace that is upon him will automatically come upon him the favor that is upon him the favor is going to come upon you the doors that God opens to your father when you serve him faithfully that favor will come upon you. I've seen it over and over. This house has a rich, godly heritage. And the legacy will live on and on. I'm even telling my children and my grandchildren knows for the 20 years that I've come to serve in Rwanda, they know about it and my grandchildren will also know about it because we serve a rich God our wealth is not in material things this godly heritage is wealthier than riches God bless you and I know that today Something is going to happen. I was here in May. Before I give over to your father. And I shared this with him. I was in the city. And one of the other believers of Zion Temple at another branch. When he remember who I was. And we were talking and he, the minute he mentioned Mount Hermon. I saw this vision. Rivers. Rivers. Of living water. I saw a river. That flowed. Down from that mountain. When he mentioned. Mount Hermon and the Lord took me to Ezekiel 47 this river is not a physical river it's a supernatural river and that river is flowing from that mountain when we go there go with an expectation that God is going to meet your needs Amen Amen a lot of handcraft to our Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up, Jack. Oh, Rakoze. Amen. Oh, Rakoze. Amen. Oh, Rakoze. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ugirane. Amen. Ugira neza. Amen. Ugira neza. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shiva.
Shima Yesu Amen Shima Yesu Amen Ushima Yesu Amen Hallelujah Amen We take a man come here Tulagushima chani. We thank you so much. Tulagushima kubu murage. We thank you for the heritage. Umurage. The heritage. Wafuye mumutima wawo. That came down from your heart. Umanukira munu machumi nebzi. We came down into the twelve of the apostles. Ukomeza muma andijana makumi abiri muchumba. And continue in 120 people were in the upper room. Urage ndukora kubaga wobi taruso. And also tied the people of Tarsa. Barazamu kawaja muri azia noya. They went up into Mina Asia. Barabijana bagira muburaya. And they went up to Europe and the heritage came down into the whole world. That is the, the, the way we have the, we have the Ijambo rya wirava ngo ni mwigire ku baba banje. Mwigire mu kwizera kwa. Turagushima ku uyu munsi. Turimo twigumurage. Ibyo twize. Ibyo twahawe kumenya. Ibyo natwe dutanga. Ndagushima mwami. Ibyo twakuye kuri ba data. Ibyo twatanze. Ababzakirie. Nabo nibyo batanga. Birimo ubugingo. These are life. They have life. They have power. They have power. They have authority. They have greatness. They have transformation. We praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you for your servant that has shared with us the word. And because of the heritage, it should come through prayer. The heritage should be protected. It should be maintained. We ask you, Lord, that you give us grace to take care of what you've given us. Let's take care of what we have received. And your word says, let's strengthen what you've had. And nobody should get away from you. You've been given an everlasting heritage. An heritage of hope. A hope that have life. We praise Lord Jesus. We praise Lord Jesus. Fiti bziringiro, vifitu bugingo, fitu mu kavane mizu. Fiti bziringiro, bziringiro, vifitu bugingo, fitu mu kavane mizu. Subira mokandi. Fiti bzi, Hallelujah. Vifite ubugingo, fitu mu mugavadi. Ibzi ringiro, Hallelujah. Fiti bzi ringi, oh, vifitu ubugingo, fitu mu mugavadi. Man of Anova, whom would you shut? Lord bless you. Go home with them. We shall continue with them in the evening. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go home with the Lord Jesus.